Welcome back to Dinalicious 101. Today we're gonna make a very fun meal. It is a Puerto Rican dish and it's called a jibarito. Keep watching. So what is a jibarito? Basically a jibarito is a steak sandwich. But instead of bread we're using, we're gonna make our plantain slices. We're gonna flatten them out and we're gonna make them so that it turns into a sandwich. I promise it's gonna be good. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna season our meat. And take everything off of here. All right guys, so in one of my previous videos, you guys saw that I made the sofrito. So we're gonna use the sofrito in our meat. And if you're interested in seeing how I made my sofrito, please uh, look at the video, probably like two videos ago, but I'll go ahead and link it so that you guys can take a look at it. So I have my sofrito in the fridge. So it's ready to use. I'll put about three tablespoons of sofrito. We're gonna use one little packet of sazon. We're gonna use half a teaspoon of pepper. Now I'm not making a lot, so my measurements are gonna be kinda small. half a teaspoon of salt. Now I'm not putting too many ingredients in this uh, because it, I am gonna make my own sauce for the sandwich. So what you're gonna wanna do at this point is you're gonna wanna mix it. And yes, the meat was already washed in case you wanna know. So now that we mixed it, we're gonna let it marinate for about 10 minutes. Next, we're gonna cut up our plantains. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna cut them in half. And this is a little trick to get the starch out. We're gonna soak them in water. With a little bit of salt. Now you're not gonna soak them for that long. You're gonna soak these for about three to five minutes and that should be more than enough to get that like starchiness out. Okay, so we're gonna let this soak and then we're gonna go on to our veggies just to have everything ready. Keep watching. All right, so now we're gonna cut up all the stuff we're gonna put into our sandwich. Now if you guys know me, I like to have everything prepped. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them all in a plate. And all I want is the rings so that I can put in the sandwich.
For our lettuce, I'm gonna take out a few. The, my tomato and onion were already washed. Obviously, this one hasn't been washed. But I wanna take out some leaves first. And then I'm gonna go ahead and wash them before I put them in the plate. We wanna make our sandwich look pretty. this washed. Now we're going to have our nice washed lettuce to put into our sandwich. Now I'm going to go ahead and set this aside so that I can take out my plantains. Keep watching. So now that I removed the water from the plantains, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, dry them a little bit because what we're gonna do is we're gonna fry them while they're still in this shape. So you don't want them to be wet. We want them to be like this, we want them dry. what you want to get after you take them out of the water so I'm gonna set these aside right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on my sauce keep watching all right so now we're gonna make the sauce for our jibarito what I'm gonna use is some mayo Now, I'm not making a lot, so if you guys want to make more or less, totally up to you. I'm going to put four tablespoons of mayo. I'm going to put some ketchup. That's about two and a half tablespoons. I'm gonna start moving this along. All right, now I'm gonna sprinkle some cayenne pepper. This is completely optional. If you don't like yours, you know, if you have children or you don't like your spicy at all, you don't have to do this. I'm not adding a lot. It's just to give it a little extra kick. I'm gonna put less than half a teaspoon of pepper. And I'm gonna sprinkle very little salt on it. This is gonna taste delicious in our sandwich. But like I said, if you want it with just mayo, that's totally up to you. See how it's nice and smooth. How it looks. So now we're gonna move on to cooking our meat. Keep watching. All right, now I've had my pot preheating at medium heat, and now I'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil. Not a lot, because my sofrito already has a little bit of oil. These are not going to take that long to cook. So while these are cooking, we're going to go make sure we flatten out our plantains. 
keep watching. Now that we have our meat cooking, we're gonna go ahead and fry our plantains while they're still in this shape. We're gonna fry them for about maybe five minutes. You don't wanna overcook it. So once they're fried for about five minutes, we're gonna take them out, let them cool off, and then we're gonna go ahead and flatten them out. Keep watching. So this is what we want our platanos to look, just a little bit yellow. And now we're gonna take them out. I'm gonna put them in the same bowl that I had them in. They're not fully cooked. They're just mildly fried. So we're gonna put them back in here, let them cool down, and then we're gonna mush them down so that we could make our, uh, you know, bread <laughs> for the sandwich. And before we go, the meat is smelling amazing. You guys really have to try my sofrito recipe. Not just because I make it, but it's pretty darn good. You guys should see the smell on this. Keep watching. All right, so now that we've let them cool down a little bit, they're still a little hot, but we're gonna try to squish them through right now. Now, like I said, they're not fully cooked, but this is what we want. We're gonna refry them in a bit, so I didn't turn the stove off. Now, typically I use a plate to flatten them out, but today I'm gonna try using my <laughs> My roller guys so wish me luck you want to do it very gently because we don't want them to fall apart and you don't want to do this all quick so that it breaks you know I see some people and they do this like so quickly and so easy and I'm like oh, why can't I do that <laughs> but it's okay, they're still coming out good. All right guys, now they're perfectly uh, mushed, so this is gonna be the bread to our sandwich and I'm gonna go ahead and put these back to fry as soon as my meat is done because I don't want to let them get cold so keep watching all right guys so our meat is almost done so we're gonna start frying our plantains be very careful all right our meat is done so these are not gonna take that long these I'm gonna fry for maybe about a few a few minutes that's it look at that they look beautiful I'm gonna finish frying these and then we're gonna get started on making our actual jibarito. Keep watching. Okay guys, so what you wanna do once your uh, plantains are completely fried is you wanna put them on some napkins to let them uh, let go of all that excess oil. So we're gonna put our two pieces of plantain. So now we can start building our sandwich. Now we're going to use the sauce that we made. We're going to put some on here. And put some on both sides. You can put as much or as little as you'd like. Now we're going to put our meat. We're going to put our cheese. Our lettuce. We're going to put our slices of tomato. And we're going to put our onion rings. And there you have it. You have your homemade jibarito. Now we're just going to close it up. And it looks just like that. It is truly delicious. I'm going to hold it up so you guys can see it. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Delicious, guys. I wanted to give you guys another little angle to look at the sandwich from. Look at that. Mm, so good and of course I forgot to mention we can't have our pibarito without our malta <laughs> look at that so good guys and 
And if you like touch this right now, it feels so crispy. It's so good. But look at that. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you. Bye.